Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of somebody who is really looking back at the past and re really replaying old memories, and I'm seeing them having some regrets. This is someone who really hates how things transpired. Um, they, it's almost like they're grieving something. They feel a lot, a deep sense of emotional loss. So this person is definitely not really in a good space right now. And I do see them having a lot of regrets over the past. Um, almost crying over spilt milk type of energy here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Gemini. Okay, so the first card we have is the King of Cups. And this is Water Energy. Next, we have the Six of Cups, Water Energy again. And finally, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so with the Six of Cups there, again, we see somebody, it's almost like they're feeling very nostalgic. Um, and it's almost like they are reliving painful memories about the past. Um, this is somebody who still has a lot of emotions here. They still feel very deeply. Um, on the outside, you may not know it with this person. Because with the King of Cups, this is somebody who... Um, controls their emotions. This is somebody who, um, you know, has a way of showing their emotions in a way that suits them. And but beneath the surface, emotions run very deep with this person, and they're very stuck on the past right now. Um, I see them still having a lot of love. With the Six of Cups, it's like they have a soft spot for you. This is somebody who wants to return with the Six of Cups. They want to try again. They want to do things differently this time. This is somebody who, you know, wants to change the past. So they've been living in the past for a while. And I do see them being um, ruled by some sadness when it comes to it. Um, so this person may be wanting to take action towards you. Um, they do see you as someone who's doing well for themselves with this Nine of Pentacles. They're seeing you in this very independent energy. It's almost like... Um, they feel like you, you've you outgrown them, you don't think about them, you're very focused on um, your own personal growth and developments and your achievements and they also see you as doing very well for yourself with this Nine of Pentacles and um, they also really are attracted to you. I see this as them also thinking the world of you, um, having a lot of respect for you. This person is still deeply in love with you. So let's clarify these cards, Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Okay, so with this energy, I do see this as somebody, this person feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you in the past, and they have a lot of regrets about this. Um, they want to take action. This is, a with this card being in the reverse, this is them not wanting to, to miss out again. This is them wanting to be proactive, to, to um, be open to um, creating new opportunities with you. And this time, they don't want to miss out. They really have learned a lot from their past, and I do see that... Um, they have a lot of regrets about it. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so the first card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. And this is Earth Energy. And next we have the Seven of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Page of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so definitely this person will be reaching out with this Page of Wands. This person is still very drawn to you. They feel very enthusiastic about you. And um, they will be gaining the courage to approach you. Um, with the Seven of Cups under the Six of Cups, this person, I do see them... Um, it's almost like they're living in a, it's almost, um, you know, in the past, in a, in a fairy tale or in a, in a dream. It's almost, there's some illusions here. And I do see it being 
the result of nostalgia so they are definitely very fueled by feelings of nostalgia and um they are idealizing you this is somebody who's really thinking very highly of you they're putting you almost on a pedestal with this queen of pentacles energy and that seven of cups there is a sense of there being some illusions here but this person is definitely very attracted to you they feel like you are the one they see you as this ideal person with this queen of pentacles and they really want to be in your world again so this person is definitely extending themselves reaching out and um, initiating something they want a new beginning with you so they are coming back into your life is what i am seeing and this time they don't want to miss out on this opportunity okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you um gemini So the card says, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. Okay, so with this energy, I do see this as this person feeling very emotionally attached to you. This person feels like you are, um, I'm seeing with this energy, it's, it's a very strong attachment. It's almost like a past life energy. This is, they feel this very intensely and it's very difficult to let go of these types of attachments. So I do see this person is very attached to you. Um, it's, this is a kind of love that they would never get over is what I'm seeing. They, they think about this always. And, um, it's almost like some of them, their energy is not grounded with the seven of cups. It's not very rooted or grounded in reality there is this fantasizing nostalgic energy um, where they are really living in the memories and um, they really feel like you are their safe haven they remember only the good things about you they remember you fondly and they only remember the mistakes they made it's like they really want to rectify things they, they they feel like they missed out on the love of their life or their soulmates with the six of cups energy so this person is definitely very drawn to you there is a strong attachments emotional attachments to you okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you gemini okay so the card says it is safe for you to love Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so this person is definitely going to come towards you very openly. Um, this person doesn't want to miss out again. So I do see them this time being more um, vulnerable with you. Um, this person does see you as, they see this as a soulmate connection. They see you as somebody who is meant for them. Um, there is this energy of, um, you know, viewing you as almost... Um, it's almost like you're ethereal to them. I do see that there's a very deep connection they have here. And they feel like that you're you're their safe haven. They feel comfortable with you. They feel like they can um, give their heart to you. So I do see them coming towards you with these intentions. So I'm going to pull out another card for you, Gemini. So the card says, Honeysuckle, domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will wind thee in my arms. So doth the ward bind the honeysuckle. Gently and twist. Okay, so this person d definitely does want to be in a relationship with you. They want to be in union with you. Um, they do see you as somebody who could make them happy. They, they, they're very much committed to you. It's like they will never get over you. You live in their memory and they are devoted to you. There is a lot of affection as well. I'm seeing a very someone who has a very soft spot for you. Um, they have this, this strong emotions towards you and it's very pure. It's like these are th this is a very pure kind of emotion it's it can't be tainted and i do see them really thinking fondly about you and really um replaying things that you said and you know the past memories with you um so this is definitely somebody who um still holds this fond memory of you and they are definitely wanting to reach out to you is what i'm seeing okay so that's what i'm seeing for you Ke gemini i hope you have a really really good day gemini 
Bye, Gemini.